Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to learn how to use Excel as database in Automation Anywhere A360. To utilize this functionality, you need to have the Microsoft Access database engine installed on your system. You can find it by conducting a Google search, or you can use the link provided in the description for the same. If you are using the Microsoft Office 365 suite, Access DB is installed by default. It is recommended to use the 32-bit version instead of the 64-bit. I have already installed it, so I am going to skip this part. The installation process is pretty straightforward. In case you encounter any issues, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section. For the demo, I am going to use the following sample Excel file, which contains sales order details. We will be reading, filtering, updating, and inserting data in this file using SQL queries. Let's go to Automation Anywhere. Take Database Connect command. In Connection Mode, select Default. Enter the following connection string in the section below. In this string, we need to provide the Excel path we want to automate after the source keyword. I am adding the connection string below in the description for your reference. To pass Excel file path to connection string I am using a string variable s Excel path. Give an appropriate session name. Since we have database connect command, let's end it with disconnect command with same session name. All DB actions will be between these two commands. Now to read data from the file we will use read from action. If you are new to SQL queries I will recommend you to go through my video on database package. Table name in our SQL query will be worksheet name of the file. In this case, it will be sales order. To read data, we will use select query. Table name which is worksheet name will be specified inside square bracket followed by two dollar symbols. For checking output, I am using loop command and message box. Choose each row in SQL dataset as iterator in loop. Add a record variable to store values from each iteration. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see our bot is able to read all data.
Now let us learn how to filter data from Excel file. For example, we are going to filter data where item's value is pencil. Following data should be displayed in output. We will return to automation anywhere and make changes to our query. In our select query, we will add where condition. This is a conditional clause that filters the data. It specifies that you only want to retrieve rows where the item column has the value pencil. Column name should be present inside square brackets. Make sure that the column name is exactly the same that is present in Excel file headers. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see our bot is able to read all data. Now let us learn how to apply multiple filters. In our example, we will read data where item is pencil and region is central. Following data should be displayed in output. To do this, we will add a condition in our query, specifying region as central. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see our bot is able to read all data. Before we move ahead, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now we will proceed with updating values. In this example, we will update unit cost value for pencils to $2. To do this, we will use insert slash update slash delete command action. By writing a simple update query we can update all values in a single step. Let's save and run the bot.
As you can see, Bot has updated unit cost value of all pencil items to $2. Our next action is to insert new row of data in the file. To do this, we will use insert query. Our insert query should contain all headers in square brackets along with equal number of values present in the query. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, our bot has successfully added new row of data. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.